yeah, I wanted to do another article, well, not article, <laughs> it's a video about the grasshopper, and uh, this is Lock and Shell, and uh, this is our grasshopper board. You can see I connected it via USB because the network isn't working right now, and it has uh, this fla uh, this little flashlight which indicates this is a live light, like I'm running, you know, it's, it's an, an indicator light. The red one, which is very intensive, is the power LED. So, okay, this is the board, I connected it, I introduced it in another video, so, board aside. This is the login. Well, it's typing with one hand, so please. I'm logging in with default. Well, this is this can access TDY uh, problem. Never mind. Now I'm connected to that board. Yeah, you know, it's it's that that machine. Um, I'm doing a CD slash, doing an LS. Even has colors. Now, well, what can we do? Demonstrating that I'm on a Linux machine, like top. No, it hasn't gone install top. Well, I I do a simple PS thing. You see, it, it's listing processes. It's a Linux system, you know. I do a cat proxy BU info. Um, to show you what CPU is running. Uh, I suppose we can even read it. CPU family is a Navy R thirty-two B AP seven thousand CPU type. This is a Navy R thirty-two processor. It runs with uh, one hundred forty megahertz. This is one thing you can see right here. Um, what we can do. This is an interesting thing. I'm doing a halt. So, oh no. I need to get su uh, root first, and I'm doing a halt, and I'm rebooting the thing, so you can even see the boot messages. Right, good. Now what I do, I press uh, this reset switch. Think. I'm pressing space, so I get to the bootloader. This is the boot bootloader. You can make something like PDA info also. Um, this bootloader, it's it's the U-boat, I mean, the U-boat, which is a quite cool bootloader, because you can do a lot of stuff here. But uh, I just boot, and I'm making this shell a little larger. Oh, I can see that way. <laughs> okay. So you see, those are the boot messages of this embedded board. It registers this LED and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna lock. Yeah, yes, yeah. Here you can see CPU running at 140 megahertz. This line. This is what I said. I mean, at the boot messages, you can see it. Uh, yeah, I mean the network isn't working right now because I haven't got that uh, interface yet. And you can do some I.O. Meaning, well, we can demonstrate that too, right? So, I log in with default. Let's do some I.O. Uh, uh, no, it's in, it's in death. Oh, okay. I've prepared, prepared this right now. Please forgive me. <laughs> I mean, doing IO generally means uh, some echoing on system files, and you can do this with the ports of the system too. So, you see, it has registered LEDs here as a device, actually, and also available uh, via the file system. And those LEDs 
or uh, you can see it, those uh, one of those little green, the most right one. There are eight of, a, of a number eight LEDs. I mean, those embedded Linux boards are quite cool because you really have a full, fully fledged Linux system. Like doing a free. Right now, there's even an Apache. I mean, an HTTP server running on that system, and still, it only uses about 4.5 megabytes of RAM. It's not even 5 megabytes of RAM that it's using, and the rest is free. So you're quite uh, flexible on that system. You can do a lot of stuff, and for 75 bucks. This is a cool price. Well, it has some starting problems, but uh, I suppose you might like it. So maybe if you want to ask some more specific topics about it, I'm always open. So please let me know if I can do something for you. Thanks for watching, Michael.